This month, we will have five planets forming a straight line in the night sky, the Milky Way core rises earlier into the heavens, the summer solstice begins, the moon appears close to the other planets in the night sky, and a new comet is showing promising signs that it could become naked eye visible soon. Here are all the astronomical events for June 2024. Keep watching this video to learn more about what will happen in the night sky this month. So, starting on June 3, the moon and Mars will share the same right ascension, creating a conjunction that is a treat for stargazers. The moon will pass within 2 degrees and 24 minutes of the red planet, making it a close approach in the heavens. The moment makes it a magnificent opportunity to see and photograph two celestial objects close together in the night sky as seen from Earth. Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn will also be in the night sky at the same time as the conjunction with Mars, making this an extraordinary opportunity. However, Uranus and Neptune will be the only planets invisible to the naked eye because they are too dark, requiring a high-power telescope to see them. But you can still see the other celestial objects with the naked eye, where Mercury and Jupiter rise at dawn when the other planets are already close to being overhead on the night of the conjunction. On June 6, we will have the new moon, where the absence of moonlight provides darker skies, perfect for observing faint celestial objects. It would be one of the best times to do astrophotography and stargazing since you can do it all night long without worrying about the moon's presence. The next first quarter phase will occur on June 14, the full moon on June 22 called the full strawberry moon, and the last quarter on June 29. You can use websites like moongiant.com to know when the other lunar phases will be. On June 10, stargazers can look forward to the moon beehive conjunction with the moon at a thin waxing crescent phase, only 17% illuminated near the beehive star cluster a beautiful open star cluster in the constellation Cancer. The conjunction makes it a magnificent opportunity to photograph the moon and an open star cluster simultaneously. On June 21, we will have the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. At precisely 2051 coordinated universal time, the sun will reach its highest point in the sky, directly overhead at the Tropic of Cancer. It is the first day of summer or the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and the first day of winter or the winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. Finally, on June 27, we will have two events this time. The first being that the moon reaches its closest approach to Earth called a perigee. The moon will be in its waning gibbous phase with 79% illumination on this night. However, the size difference will be subtle but could make a difference in the detail captured when photographing the moon. At the same time, we will also have a lunar occultation of Saturn on the same night, with our natural satellite blocking our view of the ring to planet in the solar system. The occultation is visible from Tuvalu, Samoa, the Cook Islands, the eastern parts of Australia, the northern parts of New Zealand, and the other places within the shaded part of the map. However, those outside the shaded regions will only witness a moon-Saturn conjunction, where the moon appears close to Saturn in the night sky. The best way to see the occultation is by using binoculars or a telescope to see the moment Saturn begins to go behind the lunar disk and reappear on the other side. As for the Milky Way, it begins to rise earlier into the sky, is visible all night long, and could already be directly overhead before midnight making this one of the best times to stargaze and do astrophotography on our galaxy. You can take Milky Way compositions like this one or capture other deep sky objects throughout the galaxy, such as the Lagoon Nebula, Triffid Nebula, or even the Cygnus region in a dark, remote location away from cities. The galaxy will continue to rise earlier into the heavens as the month progresses until the Milky Way core will no longer be visible in December this year. So, take this opportunity to do some more Milky Way action. As for comets, a new one called Comet C2023 A3 Tsutinshan Atlas shows promise to become naked eye visible around August this year, but one can already photograph the comet through a telescope, appearing as a faint, fuzzy object in space. It is currently at magnitude 9 to 10 this month, and the southern hemisphere is the best place to photograph it. However, it will continue to brighten as the months progress, 
reaching magnitude 4 by the end of August, making it naked eye visible. But it reaches its peak brightness of around 0 to 1 sometime around October this year, potentially rivaling Comet Neowise two years ago. I will leave a link in the description to learn more about what to expect from the comet and how to photograph it this month. So, that is it for the highlight astronomical events for June 2024, guys. I hope you can see and photograph some or most of the astronomical events for this month, especially the lunar occultation of Saturn, the Milky Way core, and the new comet in the heavens. As always, clear skies and enjoy the universe before your eyes and see you next time.